Hey everyone, Nicole Herrick here with you. I'm going to show you how to create a page in your Wix website that does not show up in the main menu system, but that you can still link to either via an image or a button or even just a piece of text. So as an example, my locations page, I want to put this into the footer section of my website just so that it doesn't take up space within my main menu system. And it's something that people don't need to really see that urgently. So what I'm going to do is go up to my pages drop down panel here and I'm going to click on manage pages. Now this is my locations page here. So what I want to do is hide it from the site menu. You can see this says site menu up here. So I need to hover over it and click on these three little dots and then come down here to hide and you would can see it comes up gray and it has a little um, eye with a line through it that shows me that it's now hidden from the menu if I show you it is no longer here so now I need to create a link to this page though so um, I'm going to do it by putting a piece of text into my footer so I'm just going to go add text and drag that over here okay so now I'm going to double click that and I'm going to put locations, locations. Um, and also if I wanted to do a few of these pages, for example, if I wanted to add terms and conditions, sitemap, uh, privacy policy, um, we can do that within this one text box as well. So now what I'll do is I'll just double click to select the locations and now I want to create the link to the locations page. So if I go over here to my little link within the text settings box, I can now choose, make sure I'm clicked on page and then find that locations page right there and click done. And you'll see that it comes up with an automatic line underneath. Now I hate these lines underneath. So what I generally do is I just select it and then take off that underline. Okay. Um, and also when you're putting um, like a, a series of pages as a little menu system in your footer, I like to spread them out a little bit more. So what I'll do is I'll select all of those and I will go to character and line spacing and I'm going to customize the line spacing to be a little bit more. There we go. That looks a bit more like a menu rather than just a succession of headers. Okay. So there we go. So now when I click save and then publish, I'll be able to go to my live site and click on locations and it will bring me to the locations page. I hope that was helpful guys. Hit me up with any questions you have below.